What's up guys? Welcome to Visualization. This is Nestor Adriansen and today we're going to learn about how to create custom visuals in Power BI. Hey, if this is the first time that you stop on my channel, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with all the videos in Power BI. All right guys, let's get started because time is gold. Today we will be looking at four different points, okay? So the first one, we will import a dynamic slicer from the app source. The second point, we will insert visuals in the report area. The third point, we will insert a dynamic slicer in the report area. And finally, we will edit that dynamic slicer in order to make the whole visualization very interactive and dynamic, okay? So before we get started, let's take a quick look at the final product okay here we have the final product so we have right here two visualizations right so we have a map and we also have a cluster column chart right here we have the dynamic slicer and of course we also have right here here okay so this is our main goal as you guys can see right here everything is dynamic so it's very useful, this type of charts, this type of visualizations are very useful if we want to tell stories with our numbers, with our data. Okay, so let's do it, guys. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. Before we go back to Power BI Desktop, I want to talk to you about the first step. Okay, so we need to import a dynamic slicer from the app source. So this is how we do it. So you guys can see right here, two screenshots, right? So on the left side, in the visualizations area, on the bottom right, we can see three dots right there. So if we click that part, we can get this list, right? So let's make sure to select the import from app source. So after we do that, this new window pops up, okay? And right here, we need to look for dynamic slicer, okay? So after we do that, we have a new list here. And of course, we need to select the first one right here, play access or dynamic slicer. And then we hit add. After we do that, we will have that dynamic slicer in our Power BI desktop window, okay? So let's go back to Power BI desktop. All right, just as a reference, I have already downloaded this slicer, it's right here, but this is how we do it, okay? So click right here and select import from app source. Okay, this is a new window that pops up. And right here, we need to type dynamic slicer, right? And then we hit search. And this is the first option that we need to select. Add right here. After we do that, of course, I'm not gonna do that because I already downloaded it. Let's close it. But after we do that, this is the symbol that we can see and this is of course the dynamic slicer or play axis as well okay so we achieve our first step let's go back to our presentation and see what else we need to do okay all right so our second step is to insert visuals in the report area and of course we have right here two different visuals we have a map right here and also we have a cluster column chart okay so let's do it all right so we are here in power bi desktop again and let's insert our first visualization and in this case map all right and of course we need to select country right it's right there country perfect we also need to select profit because we are interested in profit by country okay there you guys have it and let's move this to the right. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can visualize the interactions better. Okay, perfect. What else do we need to do? So we need to insert this cluster column chart. Click right there. Very good. So now right here, of course, we need to look into profit. And in this case, by product claim all right let's do that perfect 
we need to have profit by product claim perfect and let's make this a little bit smaller so we have more space to insert that dynamic slicer as well and this a little bit bigger all right okay perfect i believe this is the second step let's go back to our presentation and see what else we need to do okay all right so our third step is to insert dynamic slicer in the report area okay so let's do it remember that the dynamic slicer is right here and we need to insert into the report area so let's do it very good so here we have the dynamic slicer and we're gonna select this one here all right so what else do we need to do here so here we need to select year in this case claim year okay claim year right there perfect so this is what we have so far right we haven't added anything let's give it a try and see what's happening here ah see right there it seems like it's working guys quite interactive right perfect before we keep going so right here let's do something really cool here let's make this a little bit smaller so we have more space so i'm gonna teach you guys a trick that i learned from my friend javier gomez from that data okay this is how we fix this so first thing that we want to do is select this slicer okay then we're gonna go to format after we do that let's select edit introductions right here and then after we do that you guys can see right here every visualization has this option right here filter and it has also the non option right there so what we want to do for this visualization specifically is to hit this option right here filter okay let's do that and let's play this again and see if we have fixed this thing okay let's do that see right there now you guys can see the visualization the interaction better so that's how it works perfect so what else do we need to do here so now let's insert a card okay so let's do that let's make sure that we don't select any visual here an empty spot right and then let's hit card right here perfect and then let's select here claim year claim years right there let's adjust this a little bit better so we're gonna have this right here okay perfect so now that we have this year here so we can visualize this better okay let's hit the play button right now and see what happens see right there it's changing right perfect 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 it's working fine all right it seems like we have everything there and let's see what else we need to do let's go back to our presentation real quick all right so this is the fourth step guys so we need to edit this dynamic slicer okay and of course we have a few options right there animation settings colors enable caption so let's do that let's select this slicer right here and let's explore what we have right here okay it's right there so let's go one by one so in this case animation settings so right here we have the option we can make this start by itself so we can select the auto start option boom like that so every time that we open this report so it starts automatically so everything is dynamic everything is automatic okay so we can do that another option here is loop if we want to make this introduction forever we can select this option as well so let's see how it works see right there it started automatically but it keeps going never stops okay 2018 right there goes back to 2010 and keeps going right 2014 again 2015 16 2018 goes back to 2010 again so that's forever okay so you guys have that option as well another cool option here is time so right here this is changing every thousand milliseconds a thousand milliseconds is okay for some people but if you want to have more time to appreciate the changes right so we can increase this as well so i personally like 1250 right here 
you can keep playing right 1250 that's for me right but you can keep playing with this number we can you can have 2000 3000 it depends on you guys okay but you guys know that we have that option all right so what else do we need to look into here so now we are good with animation settings how about colors okay so right here we have the option to change the colors for this slicer okay so if we hit this option right here we can make this on boom so we have a colorful dynamic slicer right there okay perfect let's hide this real quick what else so an enable caption okay so right here you guys can see the year right but we have the year here because we added a card right so we want to hide that so let's turn this off real quick boom so now we have just the slicer right there perfect what else title so you guys can see right here title so we don't want to see that let's hide that boom what else it seems like we are good with the slicer right so let's jump into the car right here all right let's select the car we are basically here editing right okay so right here we don't care about this right here right the earliest claim year so what we're gonna do is basically category right here let's turn it off boom so now we have just year so that looks better okay seems like we are good now with car let's take a quick look at this chart the cluster column chart right now so we can edit this to make this a little bit better okay so let's make a little bit bigger to appreciate the changes better right and then let's adjust this a little bit better right there perfect ah, let's let's edit this chart real quick let's select the chart let's go to format here so now let's look at data labels here it's turning on perfect and we can even make those labels a little bit bigger so we can appreciate the changes better right how about 12. okay now it looks better perfect all right what else do we need here how about title title is on let's make this alignment center perfect all right that looks better now what else do we need to do here so now let's edit this map okay let's select the map perfect all right first thing we want to do here is data colors okay by default we have right here blue how about if we want to change to red let's change to red custom color here all right so we have red right there what else can we do here so we can also add map controls here the zoom button okay let's turn it on all right so now we can make this a little bit smaller if we want right so another option that we want to do here is to edit the bubbles for the bubbles here we can select number three if we want but you can keep playing with this but you get the idea right what else can we do here uh let's see title let's edit this title center alignment okay so if we want to go back to this chart right here the cluster chart column we can also change right here the color right so let's do that data colors we can make this a different color uh how about this let's select one right here there you guys have it okay so what do you guys think it's a very powerful tool if you want to keep playing with this tool you can keep going so but you guys can get the main idea here right so this is a dynamic slicer that makes everything dynamic and everything interactive and you guys can surprise your boss right with this type of charts let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have to perform here all right guys that was it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope you guys found this tutorial very helpful if so please 
give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you very much and see you in my next tutorial, okay?